and my uh, uh, casting director and associate director was also on set. Uh, we were, we were a very really close uh, core team, so you know we we really like to make actors uncomfortable, uh, and it's a, it's an active sort of desire to put them in a place where they don't want to be, because uh, uh, especially when you have a mix of actors and non-actors and and actors who are just coming out of something which they might not be that interested in, I think it helps to have an uncomfortable environment and and the actor just floating around and, and not knowing what space he's in, uh, and that sort of at least it works for this kind of a film, something that's so raw and so high on emotion. But we are we are really into just fucking around with actors a lot. We just pit one against the other. Uh, we, we'll just, you know, we'll just create a sort of conflict. Also. If you've prepped your actors well for the part that they're going to play, there's only so much you can do on the day to tell them how to be in character. If they haven't fallen into character already by the time they're on set, there's a problem, you know. So, so while you're on set, I think if you've done your, your prep work well, it's really about finding cues for the actor to find a new emotion on that day you know because they're they're well prepped and they'll be rehearsed and you know in, in that sense they they will know what to expect this is something that we've we've developed and something that we did on LSD too on on the day of the shoot it's really about you know just just in, in a word, I don't know how else to put it, just dividing the actors up, just going and, you know, giving a contrary uh, instruction to one actor so that in the shot there's some surprise, you know, another actor is thrown off uh, and, and sometimes that really leads to finding situations or finding moments in a scene which cannot be put on paper. When, you, when you're shooting, you're, you're only driving towards one emotion, one emotional effect for, for what you're trying to, in terms of the dramatic graph that you're trying to create with these people. Uh, different audiences have different reactions. Uh, I think when you're shooting, when you're making the film, you're making the film only for yourself because you, you don't know how anybody is going to react. I think one of the strengths anyway of the film is that, you know, all the five characters, you can different parts of the audience look on to a different character and they can watch it through the eyes of that character. So I don't think I'm, I'm thinking actively about oh, well, is this going to be funny or is this not going to be funny. I think I'm just going for going for the key emotional effect of the scene and, and how it drives those particular characters into the next pivotal sort of emotional moment.